Greetings and welcome all to a new. Let's have a look at game. Let's have a look at Terrascape. Another game I was gifted a key for. Well, they asked if I was interested and I said yes. That's not the point, beside the point. What is Terrascape? Terrascape is a um, deck building fantasy. Uh, well, fantasy. Medieval uh, kingdom building simulator, I suppose you can say it. Uh, not doing the best job of explaining that properly, but essentially, by the use of uh, a deck that you build, you plop down buildings which eventually will improve your kingdom. Seems simple enough. Now, there's three ways you can play this game. There's either a kingdom mode where you can go for the high score, scenarios, which kind of speaks for itself, and puzzle terrors. Essentially gives you a very long string of puzzles you can solve, and I, as you can see I've done a little bit of that. Just so I could figure out some of the, uh, some of the mechanics of the game without inter uh, racking up any score on the other things, because I wanted to go in them quite a neutral. So. Let's start with the scenarios. Let's go for a new hope. So we get only access to the basic food cards and settlement cards. And we need to reach, uh, we have a maximum keep level of two. Here are the basic needs for our workers and establish a mana farm for administration. And so we get a seed, this is fine. Let's see how far we can get. Now I know how to make a mana farm, but obviously if you just start playing, uh, you don't know that necessarily. Build a prospering country. The cornerstones of society need to be established. We will require capable workers who have to supply it with provisions. Even the best craftsmen will struggle to construct a kingdom on an empty stomach. Huh? Right. So you start with a special main building. Let's look for a cozy spot to place it. Alright, so we need to first place a keep. Obviously it's giving me tips because it's the first time I've played this mode. The main building, it doesn't have any prerequisites, so we can just block it anywhere. It is a... Um, uh, well, 7 hex grid that you need to place somewhere. I figure it'd probably be nicest if we just place it dead center. Preferably on land that is not covered by anything in particular, it will do. Alright, so here's our keep. Keep up. When this progress bar has been filled, you can upgrade your main building. You can fill the bar by earning points, upgrading rods with uh, additional deck slots and new deck to unlock. You can also see the current level of your main building here. Upgrade it now by clicking the large button. Alright, so choices matter. When upgrading your main building, you can choose new deck to unlock. With decks, you can choose, uh, depends on which level deck you can for. Pick a deck you want to unlock. Now let's go with basic food. Alright, so we get 40 golden points. Building that. You're out of building now, however, you've earned points by placing your main building. Now you have enough points to choose a new deck card. So we'll get basic food. Which a couple of gathering huts. But every time this deck uh, progress bar is filled, you receive additional draw. The numbers inside show exactly how many points you still need. If you can't draw any more decks and you don't have any buildings left, the game ends. The number on, uh, on the bot button shows how many cards you have left. Uh, how many card draws you have left. Cool. Alright, so gatherer huts. The other has gain points by if you build them essentially close to berry bushes and uh, other stuff like the rivers, but you get a negative if you put them anywhere near predators. Now I don't see any predators on this map, this is a fairly early map after all, but I do see plenty of berry bushes. Now essentially when you place a building you want to maximize the amount of input. You don't have to worry too much about uh, any points after you've placed the building, because well, then it's done. So we want to look for a place where we can get the most amount of uh, berry bushes surrounding 
huts or other things like rivers also a couple of other things like farmsteads and fruit farms but i don't have access to any of those right now because those are buildings you can construct yourself so i'm just looking for a place where i can get the highest return yeah. well for now i just want to score lots of points so i think 75 is probably going to be the best we're going to get And note that we also get a slight bonus by building next to another f uh, fruit thing, another gatherer hut. But let's just focus on getting a, as many points as possible for now. Alright. We can upgrade our keep. Right, we want the settlement. And we've just unlocked the hunting cabin. Cottages are available. Right, finish him. You, then you can give up. Wall mining. Complete all the main quests as long as the scenario. All right, so. so we need at least. Uh, we need to place cottages with a silver rating. So we need to uh, establish a mana farm for the production. All right, so mana farm is. Uh, something I have not yet unlocked. I, mean, I know how to make a longhouse. I know how to make a farm stand, but I do not know how to make a mana farm. Hmm. I don't think I can make something with this. Right, let's let's try building one of these. And also do a couple more draws. Uh, let's get another basic food. That's a hunting cabin. Get a settlement. Extra cottages. Right, after reaching main building level two, you can also draw special cards. It's an X. Special cards can be unlocked via a progression level. Which you can find in your profile main menu. Oops. Uh, I can also raise land. I don't feel the need to do any of that. Get some more settlement. All right, that should be enough cottages. Let's get more basic food. Ooh, we got a special level of the basic food building. That should give us a little bit extra points. Right, so we want to build this. Ooh, and we get diamond level if we do this. Hmm. Well, if I put it here. Yeah, you definitely always. If you can get a diamond, definitely go for the diamonds. Right, so I'm guessing if I put a cottage here, that does nothing. Right, so it's got to be something else then. Well. We have potential for wheat fields to do something. Another building like that. Right. So I just count if I make it the gold. Where can I get a good... Uh, this is 90. I think 90 is probably the best I want to get for this. Another 105. Over 105. Right, 
right there. We can filter things out if we want to. Like I could hide all the resources. I do have more cards now. So I can potentially get some wheat fields. The cottages do like being built next to rivers. Next to these uh, obelisks or megaliths. There is a limit to how much I can do, though. Right. Wants me to create a longhouse, and I'll create a longhouse. Right. So we need to place more cottages. Well, I am out of cottages, so... Five more cottages. Mana farm. Not really unlocked anything else. Uh, so, by the way, I unlocked most of these things by uh, doing the puzzle things, so. I suppose we should get a fruit farm. Just so I can demonstrate it. The. I get another wheat field, perhaps. Yep. I'll have to figure out what this one is, but I'm not sure I can. Not giving me much of a hint to how to do that. I could guess what these other buildings should be. Right, well, for now, find some more places where it'd be good to put some colleges. I'll do that. was the other thing I found. We try to go for this shape, if that is what I need. Let's see, wheat fields can basically be placed anywhere on grass, I think. Yeah, grass is the best bonus you get, but and you get nothing else from it. You do need the terrain to be somewhat equal level. Uh, I mean, one one uh, level difference doesn't matter that much if it's uh, gradual like this because it's sort of connected, but this, for instance, would be disconnected. Alright, so... Doesn't help that the hex crit is not entirely lining up with how I'm trying to see this. And I need more wheat. Uh, Alright. Thanks, game. What could this be? Well, let's venture a guess and say that this is probably... Cottages? No. Doesn't count. Ah. Alright, so I have to place a well here. Alright, that's fine. A long house here. Right. So we now have a well and some more cottages. 
And I will need some more basic food. I need the more wheat fields. I can try to get this one built. You'll have no idea what these are supposed to be. Right, so I need... Voltages around a well. Now, a well gains bonuses from being next to cottages, longhouses, megaliths, and farmsteads and such. As well as a little bit from gathering huts and such. It's definitely not a building you want to place first. You want to build the rest first, really. Now let's see what we can do. You could twist this slightly so it actually fits up with the uh, pattern on the ground. This is just an experiment, anyway. Then I have no idea what to put in the rest of these things. That could be a slight concern. Settlements. Right, that was a slight mistake on my part. Well, we have plenty of places to build more wells. Right, we placed all that. Those do this. That is incorrect. I have no idea what else to do. Right, well, we had another good uh, hunting thing somewhere. Hunters don't really want to be anywhere near anything else, right? Hmm. Right. Well... Let's do the main quest then. Settlements. Alright, so we've unlocked that. Create the fruit farm. And uh, oh, it wants me to build another one. All right, I can do that. All right, we have a food farm here. I've already done that twice, but I guess I can do it again. Actually, we can play some more games, so we can move that a little bit. Ooh, we can go for diamonds. Right. No new hints about stuff I can unlock. Hmm. What else could this be? Right. 
Right, let's see if we can finish this scenario. I would like some more basic food, please. More basic food. I, re I really want to uh, get some wheat fields, please. Yes, thank you. Hmm. I suppose there could be gathering huts. If they'll try. There's berry bushes to make those more worthwhile. Hmm. You get... Oh, you get bonuses from... Oh, you get a little bit of a bonus from the gathering huts. So I'll place that last then. So these two will be gathering huts. Still incorrect. All right, so it's not that. The game just lying to me now. What it wants me to do. Hmm. Well, I don't think we want to be anywhere close to this that much. Let's just create a couple more farm stats then. Get some free wheat fields. Very specific, but I can and cannot place. one more well what was the other building I was trying to unlock At least for making progress. Alright, so we get the cattle pastures now. I can't turn these into anything. I need more wheat fields anyway. Alright, so cattle pastures want to be on grass. They get bonuses from being next to farmsteads, root farms and wheat fields, and potentially gathering huts. It has not locked any potentially new stuff. Hmm. Well, difficult to say, really. I want to try if this is. I, I could try that, right? Get a little bit more that. 
And... Alright. Now we can wait to the farm mana farm. Break the city districts. Well, I don't know how to do that game. That is the one thing I have not yet figured out how to do. And you've not really given me a clue as to how I'm supposed to do that. Alright, so I'm guessing this is somehow to do with it. <sighs> Enough on your sure game, sure. Well, I need more cottages. And this double on basic food then. Alright, well let's uh, let's see what we can do. How do I create a mana farm? It's just simply as uh, simple as this one, but except with the cattle. In which case I will need a little bit more food, because I am lacking a pasture. Right, so... Cows do not like being next to deer or next to the forest. They create a little bit of space. You just get rid of these. Not the greatest, but it will do. Like that did not do anything. this point I'm just guessing <laughs> I would be really like another cattle pasture we don't need these trees was also nothing. chance you could give me a clue game beyond what you've given me already because this does not tell me anything all right let's try again So maybe houses? Right, what do houses like? They like to be on urban, not don't like rural. I don't have any urban, so I can't give that to them. And they apparently can merge into something, but the game doesn't tell me. Ah! Alright, so that, that's probably the mana farm then. Uh, 
do I have a place where I can still make use of that? Not as such. Uh, I have one more card to draw left. Can I risk that? You know, kind of have to. Wheat fields, come on. Yes. And where to put it? Can I build? Can I not build on top of a house? Also, put houses together. Hmm. Is there anywhere I built? I built on top of fields. Get a little bit more points. Additional draw. Right, settlements. Right, more houses is fine, I guess. Yeah, houses we don't like. Well, they like to keep. Alright, so we can build here for some extra points. And they like other houses. Now I'm kind of curious. Right, and that has given me the city district. All right, so that's at least part of our quest, which has created the urban environment around it, which the cottages do not like. That's fine. I have to find a place to do that. Right, we got the houses and we got the well. Cool. Where to put it? I need free space to do this. Uh, this looks fine. Doesn't matter in which orientation I do this, so... Woohoo! Is the mana farm. Oh. Right, well. That's the first scenario. Ooh, that's the first scenario done. <laughs> we'll finish the game here. Cool. We'll just leave this for now. That was a look at the scenarios of Terrascape. I'll see you all next time when I go into the other modes of game of the game. Thank you all for watching. You like, I hope you liked it. Please, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all then. Bye.